I Met Your Mother is an American sitcom that takes place during the period of time in which it airs. For example, in 2012, the characters were in 2012. The show is produced by CBS and first aired in September 2005. It is told from the point of view of the main character, Ted Mosby, who is recounting a series of stories to his teenage children in 2030. Ted is voiced by Bob Saget and is telling his children of a long series of events that eventually led to him meeting and marrying their mother, as the title implies. The vast majority of these stories evolve around Ted and his four friends, Marshall, Lily, Barney, and Robin, who are all college gra graduates living and working in New York City. Currently, the show is in its ninth and final season. How I Met Your Mother has a large cult following and has received positive reviews during the previous eight seasons. At the present moment, 195 episodes have been aired, all leading up to the finale where Ted finally meets his mystery wife. Ted Mosby is the main character of How I Met Your Mother. He's from Ohio and is an architect by trade. Ted is on a constant quest to find the right woman. After dating numerous women after college, Ted feels hopeless, and his only hope is in the relationship of his best friend Marshall and his wife Lily. Throughout the series, Ted is seen as the good guy who just can't seem to get it right. He's smart, funny, charming, and romantic, yet his soulmate continues to elude him. Marshall Erickson is Ted's best friend. Marshall and Ted met each other while attending Wesleyan University in Middleton, Ohio. Marshall is a lawyer and wants to advocate for environmental awareness. During the first few seasons of How I Met Your Mother, he and his then fiance Lily lived in a New York apartment with Ted. Marshall and Lily's relationship serves as the only inspiration for Ted to find his future wife. Marshall is level-headed, funny, and is always looking out for Ted. Lily Alden is Marshall's wife and another close friend of Ted's. She's one of the funniest characters on the show. Her quirky, sarcastic comments always serve for a good laugh. She's a New York City kindergarten teacher and spends a lot of her time criticizing Ted over his poor choices in women. She's also an amateur artist and periodically makes money from her paintings. Barney Stinson is another friend of Ted's, whom he met at their favorite hangout spot, McLaren's Pub. Barney is a witty, overly confident womanizer who is obsessed with being a ladies' man. He always wears a suit no matter the occasion and never wastes an opportunity to pick up a date. Although Ted and Marshall are best friends, Barney consistently insists that he is Ted's best friend. Barney is probably the most popular character on the show and is known for creating the bro code and using the word legendary to describe anything that he does. Robin Shabatsky is the fourth member of Ted's group of friends. Robin is Canadian and works as a news reporter and journalist. Early on in the series, she briefly dated Ted, as it was widely speculated that she was to be Ted's wife, which was later shown to be false due to the fact that future Ted began referring to her as Aunt Robin to his children. Another interesting fact about Robin is that she was a moderately successful pop singer during her teen years in Vancouver. The type of effects that How I Met Your Mother has on those who watch the show are numerous. Although How I Met Your Mother is intended for a mature and adult audience, the question can be asked, how would a show like this affect children who watch it on a regular basis? Since the show deals with adult topics such as sex, drugs, alcohol, and Barney's womanizing, children would probably get the wrong impression of what it means to be a responsible adult. Watching Barney's character might imply that his behavior is normal, and their frequent trips to their favorite bar could teach children that drinking all night in a pub is something that productive adults do more than just occasionally. Most of the risque humor would, would not be understood by children, but may lead them to understand this form of adult humor before their time. As a parent, I know I would not let my children watch How I Met Your Mother, but I would enjoy reruns with them when they were a bit old. From an outsider perspective, or someone who's not accustomed to American culture or humor, How I Met Your Mother could potentially paint a bad picture of young adult Americans. But if they withhold judgment, they would most likely find the show quite entertaining. If not, they might assume that we drink and party more than I think we actually do. On the bright side, they would see a group of young adults navigating their, their way through friendship, careers, marriage, and life in general. Since the show does have an overall positive message about love and friendship, I think anyone from any culture could relate and appreciate the show. They would need to watch more than just one episode to paint this picture. Since I've personally been a fan and have followed this sitcom, I've watched these characters grow from younger 20-somethings to individuals entering their early 30s. 
I think the point of some of the plot devices used by the writers of the show are intended to display a maturing and a growth in the characters. I've used the show as something to relate to, and it's something that has made me laugh at myself as I have found myself in similar situations such as those of Ted and Barney. I look forward to the series finale which will air early next year and we will all find out the answer to the show's title, How I Met Your Mother.